Welcome to Scotland's Hidden History. Today we'll be looking at a place called Bar Castle. It's in a place called Galston in Ayrshire. But it's not just Bar Castle we look at, it's Galston in general. <laughs> and what I hope to point out with this video, we'll just examine it, is why Bar Castle sits where it sits. Now, there's a lot of videos and a lot of talk on the social media platforms about starports and so forth. And <coughs> people tend to think that they're just in one place, the edge of the coast, or you know, places like Holland. And they're all over. But people think they're just isolated anomalies or they've been built by ancient Tartarian or civilization or something of that that ilk. Now what I want to show today um, is that starports are everywhere. Much of what we believe is the land around us much of what we see of the land around us is fabricated because we're living in a land which was submerged under water for a long long time and when you examine on the ground and begin to look into star quotes and stuff like that you begin to see that there's vast areas fields you know from here this sort of Cessna road right out which are agricultural fields to this sort of Gordon White digital business place. These haven't been built on because these were all under water. And we see places like forestry, big bands of forestry you can put in. And this is because this is where a waterway was. And um, what I'm trying to show by this video on it I'm quite familiar with the area of Goldstone, I used to stay there and then I stayed just further up the road but I've, I've been boots on the ground let's say here many many times but looking at this picture you can see you've got this sort of round you know with a circle you zoom in again and put it in 2D so, it's sort of raised so you get this raised mound, you see it? That itself, all here, is a small star point. Now, this here goes right through the sort of stadium, but it's not just that, it goes right into like a long, this is going across um, the sort of A71. It's like a runway almost and you come into Loudoun Castle and the Loudoun Golf Club and all that sort of Loudoun Castle is abandoned but you can see here there was a giant you know, waterway or something this is all waterways here but if I go back to Golston they hide everything in golf courses and back to the Bar Castle and we'll see here it sits Interesting enough, next to the bowling club. I'll explain <laughs> what the bowling club is later. Um, the bar castle sits on the point of a starport. This green area was the canal. They couldn't build in all this for a while, but eventually they might because it was waterways. So the likes of Bettrick Street and Wallace Street, that would have been a, you see how it's one long street, it's raised up. It's almost like a high street, and you've got the Bright Street and Hen Henrietta Street. But this is on the point of a star port. Um, it's a tower, and you know, it had rods. They say it's a, you know, it became a storehouse and stuff like that. I put a video on about it, but it was actually, it had rods on it, steel rods that went into the air. And this canal would have been salt water coming salt canals the 
the starport, we actually sit in salt water and the starports are everywhere and between the starports and the canals was salt water. We've been lied to about things. So this is the point of a starport here. And this, what became a bowling green, was a bank and the salt water would come in into this sort of square bowling green. It's a bowling green now, you couldn't build them or anything, but these, all these bowling greens were always near a tower or a church or a large building or near something. Uh, but they're, um, you know, maybe a few hundred feet away from the place. And what happens is salt water fed into these and it crystallised into salt banks and the salt water, the fresh water running in, and the salt water maybe came into this area and the water would be split, creating a high hydrolysis through hydrolysis using metal from the ether, pulling the electricity down. And each point of a star port, that's what they did. You know, there would have been a building over along here, golf courses, obviously in golf and cemetery and all that's hiding stuff. But um, you can see the point of the star port here. And it's quite a big one, it was all the way out. It's strange thing here. The landscape's been changed quite a lot. Um, you know, I'll zoom out a bit more, we can actually see where all the farms are. They're sitting, all the farms are sitting, there's the valley there, around the starport. I've walked this valley, it's flat, and you get to some parts of it, you know, like, um, let's see here. There's water. There we go. There's banks of water still left. And, a little, and this is all bog. Agriculture's hiding it. But this is the this is the starport here. These are the edges of the starport. These farms. They're called mains farms because they were mains electricity. They were hubs for treating electricity. So, Gosden had quite a large starport. Um, around it, and if you come to the front of you know, Gulfs and you've got the river Irvin, Irvine, or the Irvine, and the Irvine Valley, and this is it's a huge valley, the Loudoun Valley, uh, and the river, this river was much bigger, but if you, if you go down you see the starport still, you know, in certain places. This was a massive waterway, and this starport here, Gulfstone, uh, Bar Castle being one of the top ends, this is, this is a huge starport. Uh, also, the other side is what hidden, but they're allowed in golf club, uh, court, uh, club now. It's not a golf course, but a golf club. Uh, and in there is a massive star point. You can see the tree, tree line all the way around. The strange circles that are all cut out. Now, these were all part of the Loudoun Castle estate, but they're also big basins because the Loudoun Castle itself, let's see if we can find that. Yeah, there's the gardens. The actual castle itself was a, a big, a big, massive machine. It's hidden somewhere. <laughs> uh, it's a big machine, uh, and the water fed into this big estate, which is also a big starport if you look around the shape of it. So this is just a, a short, a sort of brief introduction to. Um, South Asia, East Asia, I think this is East Asia. Um, this is a starport um, here. And it goes all the way. And then this is a huge one over in the Loudoun estate. And this is a canal system, a straight line here. There's also a railway line, it became a railway line. It was the bank of a canal system that ran all the way down uh, through New Mills and it came all the way through into Galston. Uh, it, it became a railway line but it was a massive canal system because as you come into Darvel, as you come into Darvel, uh, there's still traces in the canal. This is Darvel here. There's still traces of the canal system down by the railway line. Didn't mean to do that. It's 
so in behind there you can't see it but in the, in the gym there's water in there there's water and down there is the massive valley which was a valley full of water one time uh, Darvo also been a very important star port because it was held by the Templars uh, and remained completely independent until 1707, never paid any taxes. Uh, it's probably why you've got a place called Priestland just up the road. Uh, but that's for another video, this was about star forts. So, uh, yeah, Darvo, Darvo, Darvo. Darvo itself is an unusual place. It used to be a large harbour. Yeah, so a trading port, it was a mill for fabrics and cotton uh, but the same with that, you can see all the big old canal systems and the, where the trees are now put in and then when you get down on the ground there this land is still bog and marsh and you know it's just uh, um, especially in the winter time you know. but it does sit in the valley, this is the thing, it sits in the valley but this valley at one time, this Loudoun Valley was a massive uh, valley full of water and all the way along the valley uh, were star forts uh, and the most obvious one of that which can be seen as the one that I'm showing here at Colston um, yeah Colston has a couple actually it's made up, there's another little star fort over this side here um, and then there's one so it's right here, it's a tiny one actually but because, and it's abandoned, it's weird, it's like a shopping precinct uh, sort of shopping centre sort of thing a uh, co-op food, Henry S it's just there, uh, it's weird um, no, it's there, there, here yeah, it's abandoned this one it's, 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 it's through pictures I don't think that's still there uh, yeah, this bit here is a little star port in itself um, this side here, just here so it was an important place and that even here could be I know there's more of an development on there now, but you know, because the boundary of Galston has extended quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, we were looking at Bar Castle, and um, Bar Castle, I put a video up there of Bar Castle. Uh, interesting that Bar Castle sits uh, right on the edge of the star. Uh, yeah, and then from there, the commoners, they were outside the wall. <laughs> Uh, but all the people who had money and wealth and whatever and whatever was going before this was a graveyard it was probably about um, a laguna or something for boats maybe uh, yeah a port or a harbour um, they couldn't build in it so you know it's sanctified ground really because there's salt water yeah it's probably a salt bank you know that's probably what it was this graveyard uh, or a place where the vessels come in, sort of port. I even thought at one point here, with this strange sort of design that's going on there, this strange, maybe it was like a good, you know, standard stone and stuff, but uh, as you look into it, when you, you begin to see that it's still aligned here, still, you know, this, this massive alignment there, there but this is a you know, it kind of kicks off there, but that's, you know, look, you've got this it's going over there and it comes right out on it, just a little off this and then it takes you straight into the castle you see, the Loudoun castle so, you know, it was a, a large prison I've already done a video on that uh, before showing Loudoun castle as well, Loudoun castle has this is an embankment, water was in here, so this was all water this is why the trees are in there, you can still see the land and so uh, so there was a massive canal system uh, leading around this there's much more water and it, it came around the starport here and this became, this was probably water and this became a, a place where you exercise obviously, <laughs> energy, you know uh, so water energy, you know, but this would have all been water. Uh, it's been concreted and you know leveled off and filled in. Um, but this was a massive, yeah, a massive promenade, uh, a, a bridge maybe even. I thought that before it could have been an, an ancient bridge. 
coming over a deep valley of water. Um, I know further up, uh, just past Darwin, past Priestland, there's a, there was an aqueduct there, um, a bridge somewhere up there. Uh, is it something similar here? But it's definitely, you know, it's sitting right up. This, that is why I found it, because you can map, um, you know, on foot, when you're walking around on foot, you can actually, you can tell the terrain, you know, and it's water and where the waters are. There's always little streams, you know, and these little streams are much smaller now than they were before. So there was a lot more water, and the star forts are everywhere, everywhere. Furrowford, even in between, you see them all quarried. Uh, let's just have a look. Furrowford. You begin to you begin to see the shapes here with the water, the, the trees. Are, the water's still there. So this is the edge of the starport, an old railway line still there. Uh, I can't remember. This is a big, big, massive depot. Is it? Um, what's the name of them again? It's not big. Malcolm Logistics. Wherever you get Malcolm Logistics, by the way, people, <laughs> wherever, it's always in this. Look, you can see the starport. Look at the edge. You know, so there's a star fort there. And look at this weird, you know, cuttings in the field there. What's that about? Because that here is another little star fort. That's a star fort here. Yeah. Up there. And then in between it with the trees are, that's the water. The water went through it. So, and this is all newer, but this would have all been on the ridge of the star port, another star port. Yeah, I mean, look at those deep trenches, <laughs> another star port here. So, right, I'm going to wrap it up because otherwise we'll end up in Kilmarnock. There you go.